Today in our Oz Talk, the science of near death. Dr. Sam Parnia, author of Erasing Death, is here. He's leading the largest ever medical study into the topic of death. And what he teaches us, the stories of people that have come back from the death, can help us avoid any regrets when that moment comes, because eventually it will. And if you're afraid of the pain and fear of death, then pay attention to this Oz Talk. Take it away. Thank Parnia. you so much. Somebody might say, well, how do we know this is true? I think it's important to explain two things. One is that until very recently, we couldn't bring people back after they had died. Okay? And so basically, it was thought to be purely philosophical or religious. But today, there is a science by which we can bring them back. And it's like the old days, you know, when people set out from Europe to go to find the Americas, and they found all these amazing creatures and these amazing experiences nobody had seen before. When they came back and told people, a lot of people never believed them. They thought they were drunk, they thought they were imagining it. It's important to understand, though, that this is an experience that has been described from all over the world, sometimes from children less than three years old, who have no idea about life, death, the afterlife, religious questions, and they all describe the same thing. These experiences have been described from all over the world, from Southeast Asia, from the Middle East, from Africa, from the United States. And what we see is that the experience is very much the same, but the interpretation, frankly, like any experience, depends on the person's background. So, for instance, if a Christian person has this experience and they see a being full of love and compassion, they say that I saw Christ. But if you actually really push them, they say, well, I don't know if it was Christ. I expected it to be Christ because I believe that. And if you talk to a Hindu, they may say that I saw one of the Hindu gods. And if you talk to an atheist, they'll say, well, I don't know why I had this experience because I don't believe in anything anyway. But, well, I did see this being of light and it was really full of love and compassion. And I don't know how to account for it, but I think it's going to change the way I'm going to live my life. So I think what I'd like to simply end with is to say that while we are afraid of death, because it is the unknown, and unfortunately it's an inevitable consequence from all of us, despite all the medical care that we try to provide, that there is now a science and that death does not have to be limited to philosophy or religion, but it can be explored through these means. And it helps us to understand how we should obviously provide medical care, from my perspective, but also how we should live our lives today to give ourselves more meaning and to make sure that when we do reach that end, as somebody once said to me, I don't want to fail. I feel like I live my life with a D. I was given a second chance. I hope that when I go back the second time, I'll be given a C at the very least when I go back. I hope this was useful to you. Very helpful. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Wonderful job.